you're doing a good job of getting the word out and getting the message of people to follow the four things for fall. But the airport management yesterday said they expect a million people to fly between now and, and this Sunday. How concerned are you that people aren't heeding the message and we will see a spike versus a bump? Well, I think for the most part, I mean, it's kind of, we'll, we'll see after a holiday weekend. I know in my discussions with uh, senior executives in, at Delta, uh, I heard John Zeldin on the radio yesterday talking about the precautions and the sanitation practices that the airport's taken. Um, people that have been traveling, you know, they're seasoned business type travelers and other folks. Um, I don't know that we've seen, I mean, Dr. Toomey can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know that we've seen any problems with people traveling around the country and around the world. In fact, we've had, you know, Pat Wilson, Department of Economic Development, has been um, over to Europe several times on economic development missions following Dr. Toomey's guidance and testing regime before and, and after, and, like, there, there's been no issues with that. Obviously, when you've got a lot more volume in the airport, you have the opportunity for that, which is why, you know, I said in my remarks, people have to really pay attention to socially distancing themselves if they're going through the airport. I think the airlines have done an unbelievable job on the way they're recirculating, filtering, and cleaning um, air and the surfaces on the airplanes themselves. Um, their employees have done a great job. So I'm not too overly concerned about it. I don't think it's going to be any worse than having a lot of people that were traveling, you know, over July 4th weekend or Labor Day weekend that were, you know, packing the coast or state parks or anywhere else. But people, if they follow the guidance, you know, we can help limit the spread. I mean, it's a virus. It's going to spread. We're not going to stop it until we get the vaccine and we continue to just keep the fight for, you know, months ahead. Um, but we can limit the spread if people are following the guidance. And uh, I think that they'll do that in the airport. I mean, the airlines have policies on folks that are flying on their planes, and I know that the airports do as well. So I am uh, cautiously optimistic for that. But I would urge, you know, any families that are traveling just to wear your mask, stay with your group, get in there, get out of there, and, and have, a, have a happy and safe Thanksgiving.